Everybody, what's going on? Uh, welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, it is Thursday. I'm actually recording this on February 3rd. I apologize I didn't release my normal video on Wednesday at 6.30 and that was particularly because of two things, because of my lack of motivation and because of my lack of organization. So I thought today would be a good idea to talk about three tips on why it's important to be organized. I forgot. Hopefully this looks good. Got some lighting setups over here. I'm trying new lighting. This is a, uh, I don't have like upgraded lights yet. Yeah, right now it's uh, currently snowing outside. We're going through a snowstorm. Started last night at 11 o'clock. And it's expected to actually snow until tomorrow in the morning. I actually wanted to do a sequence yesterday because I thought the snow was going to be falling all day yesterday, but that wasn't the case. Um, but maybe we can give you one later of me shoveling the snow. Um, I'm on coffee at number two right now. And yeah, I guess we can start off by going into point number one. Okay, so tip number one, the most important tip for myself is reducing stress. When you have a more efficient workflow and you're organized in your workflow, when you know where to find things and when you have less things to worry about in the background on your mind, you tend to worry less and I like worrying less. All of my friends and family can vouch that I am somebody who worries a lot. Okay, so tip number two on why you should be organized is because you tend to have more functional equipment. And what I mean by that, for me being a videographer and a photographer, I work on a MacBook Pro and when that gets cluttered full of files, it doesn't work properly. So when you reduce that clutter, when you make everything organized, you tend to have a faster running machine, you tend to have more storage on your computer, and there tends to be less clutter and confusion as to where things are located. Tip number three is saving time. Okay, so if you weren't organized and you didn't have an organized workflow, you would tend to have a longer workflow. So that would actually take longer to complete things. The less you have to search, the better. Like I mentioned, all, all of these are relative to the different ones that I mentioned before, but the less you have to search for something, that is time saved. And the more time you save, the more you can actually get done. So overall, being organized, you actually save more time to get things done. So I'm gonna be going over a few things that I'm gonna do to organize myself. Okay, to make my life a little easier, I tend to split up my hard drive usage. So we got the traveling hard drive. This is the hard drive that I use when I'm traveling on the go, obviously for various reasons, I use this Lacey because it's got this bumper protection. I had a bad case where I actually dropped a hard drive and it wasn't fun. I lost everything from my uh, European trip back in 2017, so that was not fun. Uh, this is sort of just like a backup extra hard drive. I do put some items on here that I've previously worked on, so if I finish up with a project, it usually goes here. And then I actually have these two hard drives. So. This one's super old. Uh, I use it as a backup and I use this as a backup as well as a time machine for my laptop. So this one is probably uh, gonna be used a lot more. That's my newest one that I've gotten, so. Okay, so I got this uh, Samsung T7 given to me by my buddy uh, Carlo. Thank you, Carlo. And I use this specifically for projects that involve more raw video capabilities because this does have faster writing speed. So I tend to use this as an on-the-go uh, SSD. This isn't even a hard drive, but uh, this is an SSD as an on-the-go project uh, hard drive. So what I do on my laptop is I have all of my assets for video and for photo. So within my document section on my laptop, I actually have a video assets folder where I lay out all my audio, my visual effects, any overlays, anything like that. Same goes for photos, Same follows the same procedure. I laid all that out in there. Strictly on these hard drives, I tend to just put work. Um, I actually do have the video assets on here, but I'm gonna be clearing that off soon because I just wanna strictly include work on here. I don't wanna include anything on here that actually doesn't um, involve my work. Uh, like for me to have the video assets on here is pointless because I'm only working on my laptop. I don't really need to have the video assets folder on here. Another thing I'm gonna be doing um, is gonna be deleting everything out of my downloads folder. So I have a ton of footage and a ton of audio and a ton of other clips in my downloads folder just on projects. So uh, usually I download these things on the fly because I'm looking, once I compile my video together, I look for say for sound effects on different websites and I download them and I drag them into the project and then I forget to always get rid of them. If I can get rid of a lot of old projects, it would help me too. Right now I have a lot of 
projects that are sort of on the go or started and not completed and there was some that actually did start I got rid of those because I never ended up pursuing anything beyond that so getting rid of all that clutter getting rid of all those things that you actually don't need on your laptop will make your life way easier and if you think you're able to do it within the next maybe three months then maybe keep it if not scrap it there's no point um, it's you're just holding yourself back and using up more storage on your laptop for no reason okay everybody I'm gonna show you guys how I break down my organization for my travel hard drive so I'm gonna get this to a point where I'm only gonna have items that I'm working on I'm almost there I've actually been working on it but uh, 90, we have 90s films this is some stuff that me and Peter are working on a little company that we have going and this is our old YouTube uh, station so I have everything breaked up at, of what's in progress so these items are in progress haven't done any of these these are actually pretty old September 2020 so yeah it's been a while since I've been working on those um, this is some IG stuff that I have stuff that I work on for fun that, that would, would have been for Instagram I might not even end up doing anything with this stuff but me and Ali did some stuff at the Burlington Bridge and uh, we did some stuff at the Niagara Whirlpool that I'm going to be included. This is probably the best example of how I'm going to break things down. So we have different projects that I'm working on and then if you go into each project depending on what the project is. So I've done multiple projects for these for Don, uh, Don Carlo which is my buddy here. We have a clothing promo project that I'm going to be doing with him. We've shot, we just haven't actually advertised because we're waiting for the right time and a music video. And then uh, this is just like logos and stuff that I keep that I'm going to be using in the future for that. So another example here, if we go into here, these are all the different shoots that I did based off of the type of clothing. So each one uh, would normally have photos in it, but there's the other one I did do a video for. So there's some video in here for this as well. And then yeah, like YouTube, I have YouTube broken down. So these are all the stuff I'm going to be doing for YouTube. And then this is the vlog, so any vlog footage I'm working on would go in here and then I would empty it out and move it over to my other hard drive. Okay, so I'm only going to show you guys, uh, I guess, the, the working hard drives and the solid state drives just because the old one that I have all the stuff stored on isn't really organized, it's all over the place. I have some photography stuff in there listed uh, as well as like just personal stuff, so I'm not going to get into that much, but this is the new format essentially of how it's going to be laid out for the future. This project was included on my other hard drive but I've been transferring this over because this project includes higher resolution files that involve more write, higher writing speeds. So this is like more of a personal project for me so I'm just going to drag that in, in there. I didn't have a chance to do it. This is how we broke it up. So this is, Jobs is essentially the ones that I'm working on that involve higher writing speeds on the T7 uh, in here and then this is like the personal projects that I'm going to be working on that involve all that stuff. So. Yeah, then we have it all uh, listed there. Like, I might not work on every single project in there, but it's footage I eventually plan to keep on doing or using, but we'll figure that out as time goes on. So yeah, it's a little organized, and then obviously to make less clutter, you want to clear out all these items. These are all the items that I've actually downloaded and stuff, and some of it's actually my items. So this will get all cleared out, and once this is all cleared out, and I move it into the actual video asset folder, which I'll show you guys how that's set up. So got my video assets folder right here. We have that all broken up into different sections. So depending on what I want to use it for, I can have it all broken up here. Any animations, uh, I downloaded some stuff from some YouTubers. So we have an animation pack here from Max Novak. It lists everything broken up. He actually broke these up. I only had this download folder. And then we have different fonts here, uh, some CRT fonts. Uh, these are all audio. I actually downloaded all the audio uh, files and then I organized them based on what they were. So some of them sound like glitches, whoosh sounds, people, objects, nightlife, nature, etc. You guys get the idea. And then obviously all these can speak for themselves. Uh, some LUTs that I downloaded and some of the first ones that I have. Uh, these are some logos and icons that I use for social media, lens flares. I broke this out. Um, I, this is, uh, I guess, an overlay, but I just broke this out a little bit separately. And then yeah, we have different things here that I've downloaded. So a lot of things that I've used for YouTube videos. Organization is a tool that we all should be using. Uh, it does save a lot of time. And for people like me, I, once I get going in a rhythm and I start, sort of lose my, I guess my time management and when I lose, like when I'm always go, go, go and I never take the time to actually clear things, it slows me down in the long run. So you're better to take the time out to get rid of these things, organize these things, so things are easier to find uh, and you know where everything is. Like it's super stressful when you don't. 
it's super stressful when you're not organized. Trust me. Thank you guys for watching the video. I know it was a short one. I know it wasn't really the most in-depth on videography and photography, but I think organization is an important aspect of every portion of business because the more organized you are, the more professional you look. And everyone likes to see professional. And when you're quick, and when you're efficient, and when you're less cluttered and you know where to find things, life tends to be a lot less stressful. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.